What's up? So Spotify just recently introduced Canvas to all artists. And before you had to apply, but now that's done and anybody can make a Canvas. So I think that for all of your songs, you should be making one uh, to make them stand out. The first thing you want to do, open up your Premiere project and create a new sequence. We know that the upload spec for Canvas is portrait. So I have a custom preset here, but if you don't have your own preset, you go over to settings. And you can go ahead and copy all that if you want. I'm gonna use my preset here. Got my sequence. And now my sequence is open. Now I'm gonna import my music video. So that's imported. I'll drag it into the timeline. And this is important. You want to make sure and keep the existing settings of the sequence so that it remains in portrait so that as we're going through all of this, we can make sure that we are adjusting it for Canvas and not for YouTube or any other platform. So the first thing I like to do is go ahead and scale it back so that you can see the full frame or at least most of it. And then with the audio muted, just kind of scroll through and find cool moments. Moments that uh, are loopable because canvases are only allowed to be up to eight seconds long. So you want to find an area that looks interesting and also like you can loop it. All right, so I found an area I like, and we're gonna go ahead and start from there. I'm going to cut here, and then cut right here, right before it switches frames. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead and move that away, kind of separate this here and set my in and out points to be more of a workable area here. And using the info panel over here, where is the info panel? Info panel, you can go into your window, go to info there, but I have mine over here. Using the info panel, you can tell how long your clip is. See the duration of this is super short. It's only two seconds, but if I go like this, put it right next to it. Now it's four seconds long, but that's pretty boring to have it just like repeat like that. Um, so what I would do here is just freaking reverse it. Speed duration, reverse speed. I like using optical flow for that. Now you kind of have this loop, which will look pretty dope as people are listening to your music because they'll they'll start thinking of uh, the video and they might even go to YouTube and watch the video. And uh, yeah. So the next thing you want to do, click on one of the clips, scale her on up, to as much as you want. And then kind of reposition to whatever you want the focal point to be. And I would go ahead and just copy. You can click Command C on the motion effects thing. And then you can go over here and Command V right there, and it'll do the same settings. Yeah, and uh, once you find something that you're into, go ahead and export it. Turn off the audio portion of that because we don't need audio to export a canvas. And once you're done with that, you can go on over to your Spotify for artists page and upload your canvas. Thanks for watching.